package entering impact zone. 30 seconds to delivery, sir. Trevor, how you doing? Yes, it's what you're thinking. A worse waste to mourn. I could be sitting at home eating ice cream. It's General Phillips. He says it's urgent. I've seen you somewhere. It's a big city. I doubt it. In the paper, the cover of the Wall Street Journal. You read the Wall Street Journal? You were at a funeral. It looked really nice. Whose funeral was it? My husband's. I should be back in an hour. General Phillips, to what do I owe this pleasure? Operation North Star. I'm giving it the green light. Operation North Star. The humanitarian workers, the plane crash. I worked this out with Howard months ago. Oh, well, then the plan is already in place. Tell me about it. The care package has been delivered. Great. What's next? You really don't know, do you? No, which is why... We should postpone. General, Howard's gone, and now I'm in charge of the company he built. So, whether I like it or not, I have to stand out. Stand up. And I can't do that without therapy, antidepressants, and people like you, who Howard confided in, sometimes more than he confided in me. You're unprepared. So, prepare me. The accident. The accident was no accident. What the world knows, an ISAP plane carrying relief workers went down last night in a remote region of the Ural Mountains while inside the Russian border. What the world doesn't know, it was downed on purpose. By us. There were 17 fatalities. No, there were 17 dead people. What's the difference? They were already dead. John Doe's from a morgue in Estonia. The crash took place near what we think is a secret Russian military base. The reason we think but don't know is that the Ruskies are using some kind of ground-based signal to jam line of sight with our birds. Since we can't see by air, we need boots on the ground. So you downed a plane. Edgy. To avoid an international incident, Russia has invited a GO team from NTSB to investigate in the hopes of ruling out an act of terror. You and Tom are on that team. You need to get eyes on that facility. Any idea what we're going to find? Intel indicates that whatever's going on there is specifically targeting the U.S. That's it. Howard didn't tell me about this operation with the Pentagon. I want to know if he was hiding anything else. You're one of the few people who knew that before Howard died, he went off his meds, that he'd become paranoid. I haven't told anyone. Which is why I need you to handle this personally and confidentially. I want an internal audit, every contract or financial transaction. Leave no stone unturned. I wasn't notified. You are going to have to talk to my superior. Come on, look, you have our credentials. I'm sorry, it's a restricted area. Guys, we were invited here to do our job. Now, we can only do that on our own with complete access to the entire debris field. And if that's going to be a problem, we're going to have to call the embassy. Take nothing, touch nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excuse me. My signal. Fuel leak! Fuel leak! It's not secure! Everybody back! Okay, I'm on the move. Where am I headed? Northeast over the ridge. I have a clip to the clearing. Wait, Tom Tom. 
Economic got left. You get there, you snap some photos, and you get out before anyone misses you at the crash site. You find it? I found something. Sure as hell isn't a weapons facility. What is it? Come on. Don't leave the D-man out of this. I don't know. I think you're gonna have to see this one to believe it. Hey, get with the I don't know the show. I don't know what you're saying. Hey, hey, why didn't anybody tell us there was an active fuel leak, huh? Now I gotta report this to your superiors in Moscow. So it's over the hill and through the woods. Grandma's house, if she lived in Topeka. I guess we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. I wouldn't bet on it. What's this? A numbered account in the Dutch Antilles. Registered to an IP address matching Howard's computer at your house. Did she find anything else? No, except for a troubling line item listed only as Iran Contra. What was the account used for? I don't know. Briar Metcalf might. He's the one who set it up. Briar, of course. Would you like me to go see him? Desperately, but I need to do it. Where are we? Independence, population 216. What is it? During the Cold War, there were rumors that the Soviets built replicas of American towns to train their agents how to live like us. No one ever proved they existed. You know, a place to train sleeper agents made sense back in the day, but today, when you can get a visa and send them to Disneyland, what are they up to? Should we inform General Phillips? No. Not until we know what we're dealing with. Seems like maybe you already do. I don't, but I know someone who might. Hey! Hey! Man on me! I'll let you know if I see any. I said I couldn't help you. Yes, but you didn't mean it. Not after a recon. Please, don't push me on this. You don't know the people involved. Acquaint me. They inserted agents at Three Mile Island at O'Hare Airport before Flight 191 went down in Chicago. Agents that were trained in towns like this to infiltrate America. Then the wall fell and the program stopped. Doesn't look like it stopped to me. No. This new place is something else. Agents trained not just to conceal themselves, but to slit, to merge with their cover identities. What does that mean? I hear only rumors that this program is the next generation of what came before, but even more dangerous. People are afraid to talk about it. People who aren't afraid of much. I need to get a look in there if I deem it's important. Occasionally, some of the new boys call me. Ask for recommendations. Agents or assets I may have had who are fluent in Russian or English. For assignment and independence. You don't want to do this. I have two agents for you to recommend. Listen to what I'm telling you. I sent agents in, but they never come out. They were. I'll have two dossiers for you within the hour. Scotty knows more than she's saying. Every day of the week and twice on Sunday. I hope you're a quick study. What's this? Your cover. You and Nez are FSB agents being transferred to Independence. Nez? What about Solomon? I have another assignment for him. Your will's up in an hour. Two hours. I have an appointment. Cancel it. I can't do that. Of course you can. Clearly you don't want to. Why? Who are you meeting with that's so important? It's personal. Two hours, not a minute more.
She's doing a complete audit. Tell me about Operation North Star. Counts, case files, everything. The relief workers, the plane crash, as she'd taken the contract. She knows you hid things from her, and if she looks closely enough, she's gonna find out it's me. Let me worry about her, you worry about the op. What, what is all this? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, not now. Look, if I'm gonna work with you, I need to know that you have a clear head, that you're not, that you're focused. I've never been more focused. Says the manic depressive was off his meds. She told you that? Clearly, you're not taking them. Which is why I can see the truth, Tom, for the first time. What truth? Did you hear what I said? She's looking into what you're hiding. She is gonna find me out. You're telling me that's not important, but some village in Siberia is? Yeah, it's critical. Critical to what? To everything, to the whole picture. That's what she doesn't want me to see. It's why she kept me medicated, to keep me from finding the truth. You have to get on that plane. You have to go to Russia and see this through. Глаза в пол. Рот не открываем, пока вам не дали слово. Снимите всю одежду и положите ее на пол. Есть у вас татуировки, шрамы или родинки? Снимите всю одежду и положите ее на пол. Гони этих кандидатов по нашей базе. Если они подходят к нашим назначениям, используй их. Что делать с остальными? Оставь их в камере. Мы с ними потом разберемся. From this moment on, you will only speak English. No exceptions. This complex was built on the site of a former missile facility. Groundwater was polluted. Be aware of it. Short showers, bottle water only, no exceptions. You will be given a new identity. Study it, become it. It is you. Do not break character for anything or anyone. You will be tested. You will be pushed. You will become someone new. You will receive your assignment and will take our fight to America. <sighs> I'm Lisa. I'm an unemployed bank teller. I want to live with my brother. Hmm. Who's in construction? What fight could we possibly bring to America? Oh, no one will see coming. Who are you? Uh, I'm Stan. I'm a janitor, and I live with my wife. Hello? Anyone home? In here, sweetie. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hi there. Oh, Sam, leave Daddy alone. Oh, that's okay. Hi, boy. I'm just finishing up the tuna casserole. I'll need about 15 minutes or so. You better change or we'll be late. Uh, late, late for what? The Tugenbergs. Linda's birthday. Right. <laughs> I swear you'd forget we were married if you didn't wake up next to me every day. Yep. <clears throat> uh, it smells great. Don't even think about it. Now, shoo. Go on. Go put on that sweater I got you for Christmas. Right, the uh, sweater. I laid it out on the bed. Of course you did. Along with your khakis and your penny loafers. What would I do without you? Honestly, 
I shudder to think. Hey, I am on my way home now. Open a bottle of Beaujolais and let it breathe a while. Sorry, Briar, you're gonna be late for that Beaujolais. Scotty, what are Briar, you doing? if I were you, I'd talk little and listen big. I don't want Mr. Solomon to have to get blood stains all over these aniline leather seats. The account in the Antilles, the one you set up for Howard, without telling me? I don't know what you're talking about. Howard was making secret payments to someone you would know who I want to name. Effective immediately, you're out of CFO of Halcyon. What you say next will determine if that's the worst thing that happens to you today. Scotty, I would, honestly, but Howard was like a brother to me. <laughs> you know, funny thing, most people think only men can be brothers. I used to think that too, until I stood face to face with my executioner, hand to guy. I was a dead man. And that part where you're supposed to see your life flash before your eyes, you know what I saw instead? I saw the most beautiful pair of legs staying the hand of my executioner. This woman, she's my brother, or my life, really. And if she asked me to remove your head, I'll do so without thinking twice. So, let's get talking, or let's get surgical. Who did Howard give that money to? I, I, I don't know his name. Howard never told me. Then for the sake of your leather seat, I hope Howard told you where we could find him. Oh my God, please tell me that's what I think it is. Nana's tuna casserole straight from the oven. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Come on, let me show you where to put it. They offered me a full ride. I, I couldn't have gone pro. The coach said I had the arm for it. Stanley, hmm? you remember Angela and David? Uh, no, I don't think we've met. Of course I remember them. She thinks I don't <laughs> remember anything. <laughs> How was your trip? Oh, great. David's niece, Joanne, just got married in Boca. Janelle, and it was Palm Beach. I think someone's had a little too much punch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think weddings are forgettable. Anyways, that's why we eloped after only three days. It was four years ago in a blizzard on February 2nd, the day of the hedge, or the hog, or the... Uh, uh, groundhog. The, the groundhog. It was uh, Groundhog Day, and... Uh, the power was down, so I was bringing some ice cream out to the fire escape because it was melting, and uh, there she was, doing the exact same thing. So we sat there and ate ice cream in the middle of a blizzard. There was this moment where you turned and looked at me, and you were surrounded by snow and you were caught in the moonlight, and you smiled. I'll always remember it because there's a moment I fell in love with you. Based on the scale of downtown, we're looking at a community that's at least a square mile. And Krushinka's watching every inch of it. There has to be an op center. If we can find it, we can figure out what's going on. Happy birthday I don't want to pretend anymore. I just want to go home. Don't do this. Do what? Act normal? My name is Ivana Popova. Я живу в Москве. Я никогда не была в Бока или в Палм Бич. Я устала быть под постоянным наблюдением. Я зачертели все эти тесты. Вы меня слышите? Я хочу домой.
Mm -hmm. Fresh. Ugh, everybody does. You do too. Who's this from? No one knows. If I leave now, they're gonna see me and wonder why. So I'll get a hold tight. What's your wife's name? Liz. Tell me about her. Your other wife. now I'm afraid we both know that's not true is Vinny Angela no no talking about sometimes you say the strangest things nobody knows when they're sending us to america unless you know something i don't where should we go for breakfast i'm famished moved here recently i see from ohio yeah what part of ohio canton is that near Akron at all? It's about 40 minutes south. You know anyone here? Made any friends in town yet? I'm sorry, what does that have Please to Please answer the question. No. I don't know anyone here. You know, I think you'd be a great fit at First Street. But the applicant pool is pretty stiff, I'm afraid. I would advise against that. It's about who you know. And since you need help meeting people... Questions? Just gonna grab a water. Found the command center. We should move tonight. Uplink their system with house yet? Yeah, get the hell out. My brother packed up and left this morning. Transfer, he said. So they're moving them already? Mm-hmm. Any idea where they sent him? No, but he was terrified. Don't drink that. Why not? Because I ran a six-minute mile and beat the hell out of the bank manager today. We're being doped. The rash. How? Something in the water. Low doses. Stimulant to enhance performance. Lower inhibitions, relieve anxiety. 
They want us compliant so we don't ask questions about this place. How do you know all this? Lisa! Oh, you come with me. If this is about the bank, please just come with me. Do you know what this is? No. During the Second World War, the Red Army carried these instead of standard tags. It's an identity capsule. A soldier's vitals are written on a slip of paper inside. My grandfather's are in this one. Hasn't been opened since it was used to identify his body. A life he gave for Russia. Most candidates react timid to that test, but not you. You have an instinct that cannot be taught, a capability. I'm impressed. You are needed for the next phase of our program here. Wait, my new identity? Lisa is a real person? This is Dr. Piragov. I'll be performing your reassignment. She's a very close match, no? She is. Based on the target's medical files, we'll need a slight alteration of the mandible here, and here, and rhinoplasty to curve the nose. Even I won't be able to tell the difference when we're through. Are you ready to give a life for Russia and to take on another? Man, we should get behind the wheel. Oh, yeah? Who the hell are you? Today? Consider us your designated drivers. Us? You don't look like much for one of the agency's highest decorated non official cover operatives. James Bond borrowed my tux. You know what I think? I think somewhere under that five o'clock whiskey stink, there's a sharp mind still at work. I think that's why my husband paid you from a numbered account. Yeah, I read about the funeral. Got to send flowers. Anyone can open the yellow pages and call a private detective. Only my husband would hire a spy. What do you want from me? Same thing Howard did. And I'll pay. What was he looking for? Now what? <clears throat> Who? Son. Surgery? Like plastic surgery? Yeah. I explained to Tugan for his bandages the other night. They're not touching me. I like my chin. It was my mother's. These people are being trained to impersonate Americans. They're being trained to replace them. Let's go. Their command center is at City Hall. This is Cynthia Stegner at 86 Maplewood Drive. I'm having an issue with my husband. They made contact? I'm into the crazy town mainframe. Tom patched us in. 
Tell us what we're looking at. The names of real people they intend to replace. An electrician, a mechanic, a construction worker. Why replace them? What's the plan? We don't know. Bob and Linda Tugenberg, I know them. They're my neighbors. We lost the link. Tom, we got a problem. Someone pulled the plug on their end. I got nothing. No, we have identities and addresses. Go after the construction worker, get there fast, send a team to follow up on the others. I'm there. Take the tires. What about Tom and Ez? Alert the extraction team in Russia. They'll be coming fast. Our focus is the names on that screen. We need to get to them before their doppelgangers do. What the hell? Think Dumont got? Not enough. Well, well, well. I wonder who you work for. MI6? CIA? Doesn't matter. Full of bullets, we all look the same. Scotty, baby, we got a corpse here, but no sign of the pot, people. Sir, over here. You left a note. At 6.15 p.m. today, we, the True Nation Brotherhood, reclaimed our freedom, blah, 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 refreshing the tree of liberty, blah, blah, rising against those who would hold us down. Hmm. It's five to six. Scotty, we got a suicide note here taking credit for an attack that hasn't happened yet. In addition to the body Solomon just found, Robert and Lyndon Tugenberg. He runs his own auto body shop in Lyndon, New Jersey. She's a senior electrical engineer for the New York Power Authority. They were both found with self-inflicted gunshot wounds by our team 11 minutes ago. And let me guess, suicide notes? Taking credit for a crime that hasn't happened yet. But what's the crime? Peter Winstone. He's a construction foreman with a company credit card. He used said card an hour ago to purchase a large amount of Dynex. Kaboom. An electrician, a construction foreman with heavy explosives, and a mechanic. They're building a rolling bomb. I'm finding an online footprint shared by all three. Message board postings for a homegrown militia outfit called the True Nation Brotherhood. This isn't about Russia attacking us. It's about using their agents to make us think we've attacked ourselves. With suicide notes and dead Americans to prove it. The notes. What time do they say the attack takes place? 6.15. That's 17 minutes from now. That's how long we have to find their target. We need a way out of this room. The extraction point is six miles away, but they're gonna be on our heels. There's no way we're gonna make it on foot. Maybe we don't have to. They're gonna blow the door. How about we blow it for them? They're wiring those explosives with blasting caps, which are stable, but sensitive to stray electrical current. I think 10,000 volts ought to do it. Care to say goodbye? First off, the stick, I wasn't moved. You want to honor Gramps for giving his life for Mother Russia? We can arrange for you to do the same. Oh, but before you go, we're Americans. You as of you have no idea what's about to happen to your tires. All right, so I actually did... probably guess it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Give me some overwatch while I hotwire this thing. Go. What kind of man runs out on his family? How'd you find me? They have ways of tracking us. Till death do us part, right? Sarodino.
Let's get the hell out of here. Do you have a location? An area downtown. The mechanic rented a truck this afternoon. Rental company equips them with GPS. We can track the truck. Yeah, moving past Franklin and Broadway as we speak. Get word to Solomon. Okay, done and done. It's like they want us to find them. They do want us to find them. Right. If they're just passing Franklin and Broadway. If they're posing as a militia, they'll probably want to target a government What's building. Nearby? State Supreme Court. Bye. I don't suppose it'd be too much to ask that you turn off the engine and drop the keys out the window. We got 300 pounds of Dynex in here. Stay back or it blows. Yeah, I don't think so. Fall back, me amigos. I'm not really a negotiator. I don't really know what people say right now. You got so much to live for, think of your families. I don't know. I'll say that was a hell of a plot you guys almost pulled off. It was elaborate. So elaborate. But I bet you that this van was not supposed to be the end of your life, am I right? So why don't we keep it that way? Nobody has to leave this square in a body bag. Just hand us the detonator, and we can all go our separate ways. What do you say, comrade? I say screw you. I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't want to have to give the green light. Green light? Nice talking to you. Mi amigos. Hey, did you hear? The uh, satellites show nothing but a crater where the town was. The Russians scrubbed the whole thing. Scotty said she'll ask General Phillips to provide protection for every American who got off the drives. They could still be targeted. Hey, um, thank you. You saved my life. Five HTP. What? The drug they put in the water destroyed your REM cycle. Take five HTP, it's over the counter. It'll help with the calm down. How do you know so much about this? After you've been a soldier, after you've seen what people do in war, they'll offer you every drug there is except the one you need to make it go away. So you try all the others just in case. <laughs> How'd you get sober? Howard. This place. He gave me a job. He, he helped me clean up. If he gave me a shot of something, I'd I never tried before. Hope. Do you want to, do you want to grab a coffee? Toast to a job well done. Maybe next time. If I fall home, can you pull me up? Girl, I was hoping you'd be one of the ones who stay going. I just need to know that you won't forget about me. Reading a bedtime story? I read it a thousand times. Wealthy couple, beautiful son, trip to Ocean City. Before he died, Howard hired someone to track down her son, Christopher. Track him? I don't understand. I thought your son was dead. I talked to the man. He found a record of a child services in Wilmington, less than 20 miles from where Christopher disappeared. A boy, Chris's age, blue eyes, brown hair. His name was Christopher. A week after we lost our boy, that boy was brought to child services. But you told me your husband was out of his mind, that his search for Christopher was a delusion. 
thought he was? No, I don't know. But as the head of one of the largest intelligence operations in the world, if there is any chance he's out there, I will find my son. I'm telling you, she is coming for me. Operation North Star. I need to know exactly what you found. She knows about the investigator. She knows that uh, you hired him to find me. She... Tom, what did you learn? It's a sleeper program. It's one that trains agents, cuts them to look exactly like the people they're assigned to replace. So it's true. What's well, true? You know about this place? Two months after your disappearance, your mother was in a terrible car accident. Some thought she was trying to end her life, that the pain of losing you was too much. She was in the hospital for four months. After that, she was never the same. I noticed the differences, but I assumed it was because no one is ever the same after the loss of a child. It was only years later that I began to suspect that there was something more to it. And when your mother learned of my suspicions, she tried to have me killed. You told me this part. You came to suspect who she was working with, where her loyalties lie. I'm not talking about who she's working with. I'm talking about her. I wasn't going to tell you this until after it was confirmed, but I believe that Scotty Hargrave is a sleeper agent. <laughs> no. No, that can't be true. It is. That program, the doubles, the town, the people who ran it, I believe that 30 years ago, they murdered your mother. 